Hey everyone, it's Grady here. I've been playing Fancy Star Online 2 for a while now, and I've come across a, quite a few people who couldn't figure out how to get the English patch working correctly. So I'm gonna make a small tutorial on how to do it. So, um, keep in mind that if you mess it up, you can mess up the game and have to reinstall it. If you do, it's not my fault. It's yours because you didn't follow me. But anyways, let's get this started. So, first let me start by saying that in order to do this you're going to need a program called WinRAR. Um, it's really easy to get. You just Google it. It's spelled W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. Um, once you have that, the next thing you're going to need is the actual path which is on this website right here. I'll put a link in the description. But you're going to want to download this first part. That's the part that you need to have for the patch. The second part right here just adds a few more things to it, but you don't actually need to have it. And if you want, you can keep the Japanese enemy names and bosses. I don't know why. The enemy bosses and the whatever the enemy names if you want them but that's up to you oh um, anyways after you download that put it somewhere where you're gonna be able to find it I put the two files in this folder right here on my desktop called patch files but anyways um this is the part people usually get confused about but, um, depending on if you have 32-bit or 64-bit windows your folder path is going to be a bit different but they're pretty close so it's easy to figure out um if you're running 32-bit windows you're going to have one program files folder but if you're running 64-bit it's going to have two and that's where the problem is i have 64-bit windows so i'll be able to show you um but Let's go ahead and start patching it. So, after you have the patch files somewhere where you can find them easy, you're going to want to go to WinRAR, right click it, run as, a, run as an administrator. It's important that you do that, otherwise, it might not work. And once it comes up, I will show you. Okay. Um, first you're going to want to do the small files, not the large files. So, you go into the small files, and push Control A to highlight everything in the folder, and keep holding Control and click that double dot right there, so you're not highlighting that. And then you want to go to Extract 2, and this is the file path that you're going to need to do it on. You're going to go to your hard drive, which is C, then go to, you, if you're on 32-bit windows, go to program files. If you're on 64-bit windows, go to program files x86. You go to program files, and find a folder named Sega, right here, and then Fantasy Star Online 2, PSO2 underscore bin, data, and then click on Win32. Make sure that's highlighted or it's not going to put it in the right place. After you do that, click OK. It's going to ask you to replace all the files. Click Yes to All. And once you do that, you go back and do it for the same exact thing for the other one. So let me do that real quick. Um. Sega, and Starline 2, PSO2 underscore bin, data, and 32. And yes to all. And once that's done, the game has been patched to English for the menus. And that's pretty much it. Um For updating this, 
Sometimes, when you start up Fantasy Star Online 2, it will update the game by itself and get rid of the patch you put on there. Um, if it's not during one of the maintenance days, then you all you have to do is just go repeat this process and it'll fix it. But if it's during one of the maintenance days, you'll have to go back to the website and find the one for the most recent version, which would be that day. If it's not up there, you're going to have to just deal with it and wait. But if you do what I said before when it just randomly updates it, during something that updates the actual content of the game, it's going to screw everything up, so don't do that. Anyways, have fun with your English menus. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments.